So I'm here with my friend Susan Graham. Finally. Yes. So we met in. Um, are you not going to say that year? Are you? No. Okay. No. Right. When we nineteen. <coughs> right. Yes. We won the Met competition together. We did, in fact, and we both. Oddly enough, we didn't even know each other, but we both showed up for the finals on stage at the Met in these rather hideous cobalt blue dresses. Speak for yourself. I know, you made yours. Sorry. <laughs> I made mine. <laughs> well, I actually paid money for mine, and so that makes me, you know, on the short And we had stick. really big hair. Gigantic hair. Yes. But that wasn't our fault, because that was, back then in the Met, that was the style. Giant yes. hair. Yes, giant hair. And, and, uh, and now we still have the same hair. And we had the simpatico personality. Yeah. And the other amazing thing that sort of um, started our friendship was that uh, Spate Jenkins at Seattle Opera hired That's us right. to do Rosalka Rosalka. Together. And I sang the often cut part of The Kitchen Boy. I remember I mean, that. We need The Kitchen Boy. We kitchen. need the comic relief. <laughs> but that was that Rosalka was the beginning of a, a long line of operatic events where I'm kneeling at your skirts as a boy, <laughs> boy over and over and over again. But I gradually worked my way up to Octavian. I worked my way up from your hemlines to your bed. <laughs> yes. <So. laughs> well, we had a little the Dorabella and Fiorelligi in between. No, we didn't. We never did cozy, that's we right. We never did cozy. I've never been a girl on stage with you until now. You've only ever done pants rolls with Yeah, Cherubino, Octavian, Kitchen Boy. I can only say, you know, lucky me, I wouldn't want the competition. And, you know, you forget oh, it. Forget it. In fact, we've done gala concerts. We've done a lot yeah, of we've gala done. concerts. I've well, seen you in done. dresses. We got I to wear dresses together, but this is the first time we'll actually be singing at that's the same right. time. That's right. With both of us being girls. I love it. I love it. <gasps> when I've talked to people about this program, they've said, oh, operatic duets, a whole bunch of French. I was like, no. It's no, not, right. it's largely not operatic duets. Yes. That doesn't mean your favorites won't be in there, but. But the parlor music uh, tradition is oh, so interesting to me that, yeah. that all of, you know, composers in, in the late in 19th century had all their music sort of tried out on their friends who were doctors and had, you know, came from other fields because everybody was an room. amateur musician. That's and right. Then, it's really beautiful music. And we're going to tell some of the stories also of the period uh -huh. and some of the colorful stories. Perhaps, perhaps the audience will feel a little bit like they're in one of those salon kind of evenings, exactly. you know, that's sort of, and we want it to be, I won't say necessarily informal, but it's going to be very friendly, yes. certainly between us and certainly between us and the audience. Oh,